Hey guys, it's your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ here again today and today I wanted to do a quick review and unboxing essentially of a product that I recently bought. Um, I'm doing this review because I didn't see any specific uh, YouTube videos for the Smart Things lighting kit bundle which goes with the Nvidia Shield. Um, I've been an early adopter of the first gen NVIDIA Shield, which I currently own. Uh, the 15 gigabyte model, which I've upgraded with an SD card to ha now have, I think, around uh, 300 gigs of storage. Um, now, what is this? You'll get a little USB uh, module that's from Smart Things that you can hook in the back of your NVIDIA Shield. Um, this is the NVIDIA Shield interface here. Once you plug that module in, you also want to download the SmartThings app, which is, I don't know if you guys can see, I'm going to try to zoom in. It's right there, installed on my screen, right here. Now this app is completely useless, it's just a bunch of tutorials, but you do have to have it installed to uh, set up your USB adapter. Let me zoom back out. Once you have that installed on your shield, and you have the USB connected, I'm going to show you what it looks like here, guys. So, they give you a little dongle and a USB extension cord, because otherwise it would block your... And that's what the USB looks like. It's just a small one. It's like a big USB port. I wish they made it smaller. Um, they give you a dongle with a USB extension, and it connects your smart things... This is the, the hub to your NVIDIA Shield. And they give you the extension so that it doesn't take up more space than needed. A couple of things I don't like about the extension is the size. Let me zoom out some more here. I, this is a USB drive that I have. I wish the dongle was this size instead of it's like four times the size as you saw. Also... I appreciate that it comes with like a dust cover in case I don't use it, but I'm going to use it all the time. So now I have this useless cover for it, which I don't want to lose, but I have it. Alright, so let's talk about pricing. I got this package for a total of $50. Uh, they were having a Shield Link promotion. Now I believe it's $80, but it came with that USB smart hub for my NVIDIA Shield, a motion sensor, which gives me temperature readings and motion sensor readings, which I can use to cue on my lights, and two smart bulbs. These sell on Amazon.com for $10 a piece. They are the cheapest smart bulbs that I have ever purchased. I do have... A TP-Link dimmable smart bulb, which I got as an office gift for like, it was $30, $25 or something like that. These are 10 I just bought four more of these on a Cyber Monday deal for, I believe, uh, $27. So I got them for less than $10. Um, that's what the package comes with and a USB drive. Or not drive, a uh, hub. Okay, the next thing, after you insert the hub, it will be detected on your shield. You have to install that app which does nothing except gives you videos on the Shield TV. Then you need to install on a mobile device the Smart Things. let's see if you can see it there, uh, SmartThings uh, app. Whether it's on an iOS or Android, this is an Android device, so you click that. And this is where you can buy more of their products. Let's see if it focuses. You can do automation, you can do custom automation, you can I have my uh, lighting stuff named. This is my uh, sensor right there. Um, my two bulbs. And you can also do have a dashboard and arm and disarm based on your sensor when someone walks in to turn on the lights, turn off the lights. Uh, one cool thing I like about the sensor is if I click it, it also gives me the current temperature in my apartment. So it's 74 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can change that to Celsius as well. And the battery level. It is battery powered. So the coolest thing about this is if I say something like, okay, Google, turn off living room lights. Okay, turning off three lights. 
That's what you can program it to do. That's why the kit's worth it, I think. I now have a smart room in my apartment. And with my other bulbs I'm getting, I'm going to have essentially three smart rooms. Okay, Google. Turn on living room lights. You got it. Turning on three lights. And I can also do this. Okay, Google. Turn down living room lights to 20%. You got it. Setting three lights brightness to 20%. And then finally, okay Google, turn up living room lights to 100%. You got it. Setting three lights brightness to 100%. Now what do I like about that? Other than the voice control and thinking it's pretty cool, these bulbs are really cool because they only take 9 watts of electricity. Um, they have a 27k brightness. So they're about as good as the TP-Link and, uh, what's it called, the Hue lights that are sold, the bulbs that are sold, the Samsung bulbs. But that being said, um, there, there's one downside. And let me preface this by saying I've had all LED bulbs that only take up 8.5 to 9 watts for about three years now. They save me tremendously on um, electric. Now, if you don't want to go to smart bulbs yet and you just want LED, I recommend them. They're at an all-time low. You can get eight packs on Amazon for like 30, 40 bucks. And you can't do voice activation with stuff like them, um, but you can save a lot on your energy bill. So if that's the first step you want to take like I did three years ago, do it. Uh, the second step is programmable smart bulbs. Um, and them being $10 each now, I think they're worth it because basically I have this motion sensor set so as soon as I come into the house I can turn on the bulbs they'll all turn on or if I'm away on vacation I can leave the light bulbs on or turn them off if any motion comes on etc or I can set an alarm with these with a motion sensor and the bulbs I can also set, set ambient light mooding so that if I want to watch a movie I can set it down to 10% at a certain point you can use things like NFC you can use Google Assistant you can use Alexia it's all very uh, eco-friendly with the, your apartment, and it gives you a very smart house feel. Now, the one thing I don't like about these bulbs, this is my TP-Link bulb, which I do like, but this is the smart light bulb. Now, it gets almost as hot as a 60-watt bulb. That's the one minuscule thing I don't like about the uh, singlet, singlet, LED bulbs, which are the cheapest, is they generate a lot of heat. I think it's because of their construction and their heat dis distribution. They don't have a heat sink so much here, like normal LED smart bulbs. Um, they also only have like a three-year warranty, while the TP-Link bulb I have has like the 10-year warranty. So I expect the heat is a problem with these bulbs dying out. Um, this is my TP-Link bulb, and I can hold it like this for hours. I'm and nothing happens. That's a cool thing about LED bulbs and smart bulbs that are LED. Um, <clears throat> so that's just a run through. I didn't see any other reviews about this on Amazon. Um, I do know with the Smart Things uh, hub for the USB for the Nvidia Shield, which I have, um, you can I think add up to 99 or 100 bulbs, and it will control them all. Um, one other thing I'll give you, or a tidbit, insider tip, is it does disconnect generally like once a day. For me, it might be because of my internet traffic and not because of the unit, but it does once a day. The bulbs stay on if they're on or off if they're off, so it doesn't interfere the lighting. Um, it just resets automatically and, and kind of reconnects automatically, and it happens usually when I'm at work. So take that for what it is, but I'm just letting you know the full insights that it does disconnect sometimes. Um, but it's not interfering with my schedule. Um, if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the links. Or in the, in the comments, rather. Um, and, and until next time, guys, this is your friendly neighborhood fun with AJ. Um, feel free to let me know if you want me to show you something more in depth with these bulbs. Or the smart hub. Or the motion sensor. I am happy to uh, share any other inputs. And as I said, there were no other videos about this for the shield that kind of gave a real world testing opinion. Um, I like them so much with the $50 deal, I think they're now 80 for the whole set, that I bought four more of these bulbs. Um, just because I like the smart effect. I wanna say 
Okay, Google, turn on. Oh, it just listened to me. Turn on uh, sync. I mean, that's what I want to get, or something like that. It's not going to do it now, but eventually that's what I want to do. One final thing I want to tell you about these bulbs is that they connect via Wi-Fi, so you do need a Wi-Fi uh, router to use them. Um, they, they don't have their own Wi-Fi source, you need to connect them to a router. That's how smart bulbs work currently. Um, that being said, I've noticed a restriction here is they only connect to 2.4 gigahertz and not the 5 gigahertz network. So luckily I have an older modem, or not modem, an older router. Luckily I have an older router connected to my cable um, with a newer router as a daisy chain. So I use that older router just for these devices. So keep that in mind. If you have a router that doesn't have a 4.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi network, you can't use these. Um, you, you might have to get a different, more expensive bulb. So I hope that helps. Anyways, till next time guys, it's fun with AJ.